Hey YouTube, this is Everything Apple Pro and in this video I'm going to show you how to put iOS 4 on your iPhone 2G or iPod Touch 1st gen. Now basically what this software does is it lets you do everything that you can do on a iPhone 4 or iPhone 3GS with a 4.0 software and it doesn't sacrifice speed it's actually a lot snappier a lot faster it's it's a really cool mod now this of course isn't the official 4.0 software apple didn't release it but this is a really clean mod that changes your firmware so you can do all of the things that are not possible on the 3.1.3 software basically what this modded firmware is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to tether your iphone by usb bluetooth wi-fi and multitasking and there's actually just a long list of things that you're going to be able to do and if you look at my description all of those things are there you can read through there alright so let's get started alright so now that we're on our computer we're going to need two things an internet browser and iTunes now I do recommend Firefox because it saves the firmware file all in one piece and you're going to open Mozilla and go to this website whitedoor.com the door is spelled with instead of the O's it's replaced with two zeros and once you get here you click on the tab how to and down here you're gonna select this email frequently asked questions at whitedoor.com and you're gonna copy it and go to your gmail and send them an email now the reason you're doing this is because on his website he has a pwnage tool that will build the firmware and on, if you're on Windows, you're going to need to send him an email to get the already custom firmware that's already put together. And just press send. And check your mail again, and you should get an email from him. And now here you'll have username and a password and a link. Now I think I've already put it in, so I'll just go straight to here. But you'll just put that in there, and you'll get to this page. Now I have an iPhone 2G, and I need to activate it. And I'm going to click this link. And I get a download tab and make sure to press save file and press OK. Now I'll be right back as soon as this downloads. OK, so I have the firmware downloaded and I dragged it out on my desktop. Now open up iTunes and if you haven't plugged in your iPhone, go ahead and plug it in. Now what we're going to be doing now is on your keyboard, hold shift and left click restore at the same time and select that firmware that you just downloaded and I dragged it on my desktop so that's where I'm gonna find it if you can't find it it's most likely because you opened it with iTunes in Firefox or it's in your download folder now we are restoring to the custom firmware and I will be right back as soon as it's done alright so my iPhone just finished restoring and there you go you now have a 4.0 modded 3.1.3 firmware on your iPhone 2G or anything else you try to put it on. Now, if you go into settings, you still have the original firmware of 3.1.3, so it'll be compatible with other apps. But you have other tabs down here for your multitasking and just a bunch of other settings that you can use on your iPhone. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and just post a comment in the down below and I will try and answer it but otherwise subscribe and comment and please rate so thanks a lot guys and